and welcome to Upside Down Pilates. In today's lesson, we will use the resistance band to give us neuromuscular feedback during our level one groundwork exercises. All you need is a mat or towel and a resistance band of your choosing. I will be using a green or heavy resistance band. Light or medium resistance also works well. So grab your mat and a band and let's get to it. Let's move into rolling like a ball. We'll do a preparation and then the full roll and we're gonna use our um, resistance band at our lumbar spine to again, like in our half roll back, uh, make sure that we're initiating by rolling off our sits bones rather than throwing our upper back back. So bring your resistance band to your lower back into your hands and we're gonna bend your knees up in front of you and just tip back off your sit bones and then bring up one leg and then go ahead bring up the other leg. Now keep those legs still in space and just roll your lower back down to the ground and now come up and keep hollowing pressing backwards into your band so your lower back doesn't pop forward. And again roll back and then come back up and hollow back and come back up last one like this hollow back and come back up squeeze the legs together let's try to go for a rolling like a ball roll all the way back and come up and roll all the way back and keep that lower back back don't wobble again three and balance and a four and balance Inhale back and exhale forward. And inhale back, lower back leads, and exhale forward. Three more, roll back and come up and balance. Two more, roll back, shoulders down and wide, come up and balance. Last time, roll back and balance. Very good. All right, we're gonna move into our single leg stretch. So we're going to take our band and put it at our lower back, just like we had it, and then we're gonna wrap the band around our inner thighs and they're gonna go towards the outside and you're gonna grab onto your hands, to the band with your hands, and then roll down into your lower back. Legs are at tabletop and you're folded forward. As you stretch one leg out, you bring the other leg in and then you're gonna straighten both arms outside and then bring it center and change. Other leg goes out, arms open and legs extend. And a little quicker. Hollow the abs out and other leg reach. And again, reach it out and reach. Two more sets, reach the leg and reach the legs and reach the leg and now we're gonna add a twist. So reach the leg, twist towards the knee and twist towards the other knee and change and change and change and change. Two more sets, change and change. Last set and twist and twist. Very nice, come back center and go ahead and rest down. Let that head fall right to left if you brought any tension there. Very nice. Okay, we're gonna move into our hip lifts or shoulder bridge preparation. So let's take our band and we're now, we will be on our back and you're gonna bring the band at your hip bones and then you're gonna hold on to the band with your hands and anchor it down to the ground. And you can decide how much tension you want by how high up you hold on your band. So big inhale, feet are hips distance apart. As you breathe out, you just lift the hips to the sky and look down and you can see if they're even. Big inhale and then exhale, lower the hips down, keeping the shoulders down and wide, of course. Deep breath and exhale, lift the hips. Pull the hands down to the ground, nice straight triceps. Deep breath and lower the hips. And again, lift the hip, anchor the arms down, deep breath, and lower the hips. And again, lift up, this is four. Inhale, and exhale, lower. And lift it up, five. Inhale, and exhale, lower. And 
six. We're gonna go for eight. Inhale and exhale lower. And seven. Inhale and exhale lower. And eight. Inhale and exhale lower. Now we're gonna get fancy and try pick up a foot without letting that hip drop on the side that you picked the foot up with. So breathe in, breathe out, lift the hips. Now keep pressing the hips to the sky and pick up a foot and put it back down. Reestablish those hips if you lost it. And pick up the other foot and down. And now lower the hips. Let's try again. Lift the hips, inhale, stay. Exhale, pick up a foot and down. Pick up the other foot and reestablish those hips and lower down. And again, inhale, exhale, lift the hips. Inhale, stay. Exhale, pick up one foot and put it down. And pick up the other foot and put it down. And lower the hips down. Last time, you can do it. Here we go. Exhale, lift those hips. Deep breath. And pick up one foot and lower. Another foot and lower. And go ahead and lower the hips down and rest. Let's just bring our knees into our chest for a moment and then circle our lower back out in case we brought any tension there. And go to the other side. Very nice, you're doing fantastic. Okay, because we haven't been having enough fun, we're going to make this even more exciting. Go ahead and grab your band and we're gonna do a rollover preparation. And you're going to lay on your back and take the band and try and put it over your belly button area. Try not to let it scoop down to your hips too much, but it may kind of crease down there. We are gonna take our legs up to the sky and cross our ankles. And again, you're gonna keep the arms anchored down to the ground deep breath and you're going to hollow your abs and just curl your back off the ground a little bit and then bring it back down. And again, exhale, scoop the belly out and bring it up and you have a little pressure with the band and bring it down. So you want to control it up and then you want to try and control it down against the resistance of the band. Exhale, four and bring it back down. And five, and control it down. Again, six, and control it down. Curl the tail off just a little bit, and bring it back down. Last time, curl it off, and bring it back down. Fantastic, okay. Now, we are gonna go into our half swan number two. So we're going to take our band and wrap it all the way around our rib cage. And we're actually going to go down onto our belly again. And this time we are trying to go into a full thoracic extension. And as we go, we're going to reach our arms out to the side. So palms are down, shoulders are wide, forehead is down. Inhale, roll your shoulders down and back. Make sure that your abs are up and in and your legs are slightly off the ground. As we breathe out, you're gonna extend the spine and reach your arms out to the side without pinching your shoulder blades together. Reach that sternum forward, and now we come back down and round. And again, roll the shoulders down and back, and now extend halfway up, reach those arms to the sides, and then come back down and fold the head back forward. And again, belly up and in, shoulders down, extend, deep breath, and then come back down and fold forward. Two more, shoulders roll down and thoracic extension, chest goes forward, deep breath, and we go back down. One more, roll the shoulders down, reach those arms out, deep breath, and bend the elbows in and down. And press yourself back up, 
and let your back rest in child's pose here. Okay, let's move into our heel squeeze prone with our resistance band. You're going to first come up to seated and then we're gonna take the band and actually tie it around our thighs. Bring your legs all the way together and you wanna tie it pretty tight here. And then you're gonna flip over onto your belly and place both hands under your forehead. You will bend your knees and flex your feet and turn your legs out a little bit. Shoulders are down, you're gonna hollow in your imprint and then as you exhale, you're gonna gently lift the knees off the ground and press into the band by turning your legs out a little bit. And then lower down. Remember, do not lose those abs the whole time. Deep breath and exhale. Hover the knees, turn them out and go back down. And again, hollow and squeeze, and go back down. And breathe out, hollow and squeeze, turn the knees just a little bit, and go back down. And four, and bring it down. And five, and bring it down. Three more, and six, and bring it down. Two more, and seven, and bring it down. Down one more, eight, and bring it down. Very nice. Keep the band, but rest back in child's pose for a second. Okay, we're gonna go into side lying now. So lay on one side, and we're gonna keep the band around our thighs, and you're gonna have your head your shoulders and your hips in one long line. And now you're gonna take the top leg and straighten it out long in line with your hips. Make sure that we have a waist up to the sky and we're not dropping down to the ground and the top arm can be rested in front of you. We're gonna take the leg to the front, flex it forward, and now you're gonna swing the leg to the back and point it back, hollow the abs more. And keep the leg hip height, flex it forward, and reach it back. The band will give you a little pressure, and flex it forward. And now point those toes as you go to the back. And this is four. Flex it forward, and reach it to the back. And this is five. Flex it forward, and squeeze and hollow to the back. And Six, and bring it back, two more, and seven, and back, and one more, eight, and back. Nice, press the legs down, and let's go ahead and flip over to the other side. So again, head, shoulders, hips, in one long line, and you're gonna straighten the leg out long, reaching through the heel, and here we go. Flex it forward, and hollow the abs and reach it back, keep your waist lifted. Again, flex it forward, and exhale as you go to the back. And again, this is three, and point the toes, reach back, scoop the abs in, and four, Point the toes, reach the legs, scoop the abs in, and five, and point it back, and flex it forward, six, two more times, you can do it, here we go, seven, you should be feeling some fun about now, one more time, eight, and reach it back, and rest, nice, okay, now, let's flip back over to the other side, and we're gonna do um, some side leg lift series here with our band. So you're just gonna keep it tied right around just above your knees, and you're gonna straighten both legs out and get that underneath waist up here. Shoulders are down, head is long, toes are pointed. Here we go, lift the top leg up, and flex and lower it down. And point and lift, just five of these, flex and lower. Again, point and lift, flex and lower. Two more, make sure that leg doesn't go forward, keep it right in line, 
One more. Lift and lower. Good. Now, point and lift and bring the bottom leg up. One and down. Two and down. Three and down. Four and down. Smile. Five. That was fun. All right. Lower that leg down and now we'll stagger it out. Here we go. Lift the top, bring the bottom up, and lower it down. Lift the top, bring the bottom up, and lower it down. Again, lift and squeeze and lower. Two more. Lift and squeeze and lower. One more. Lift and squeeze and lower. Okay. Now, keep the legs gently apart, and you're going to lift both legs at the same time. Five and lower. Waist will go down. Four and lower. Three. Two more. You're almost there. Two. Last time. One. And rest. Very nice. Bend your knees in and just let your hip relax a little bit. Lucky us, we have two legs, so we get to flip over and do it on the other side. Alrighty, come on up and just keep your band tied around. Straighten those legs out. Hand under the head here on the side. And here we go. Top leg point and lift, flex and lower. And two, flex and lower. And three, flex and lower. Point and lift, four, flex and lower. One more, five. And lower. Good. Point and lift. Bottom leg comes up. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Very nice. Into staggered legs. Lift the top. Squeeze the bottom up. And they both come down. Lift. Squeeze. And they both come down. Again. Lift. Squeeze and they both come down. Two more. Lift. Squeeze. And down. One more. Lift. Squeeze. And down. Now here's the one. Lift the top leg just a bit and they both come up but slightly apart. Go for it. One. And exhale. Two. Waist will go down. Three. Two more times. Four. And five. Very nice, you've made it. Those are my favorites, let me tell you. All right, here we go. We're gonna keep the strap around our legs, but we're gonna do spine stretch forward. So we'll separate our legs about hips distance. So come up to seated, flex your feet, separate your legs about hips distance. Sit as tall as you can, nod your chin, and roll down. Stay here. Take a big inhale. And now when you're ready, roll up. Sequencing through the spine, just a little life in the legs. And nod the chin. And sequence down through the spine. Deep breath. And roll up. And again, nod the head, scoop at the ribs. Roll down. Take your breath and roll up. Two more times. Nod the chin, rolling down. Nice big stretch. Take your breath and rolling up. Last one. Nod the chin and rolling down. Take your breath and rolling up. Excellent. All right, keeping that band around our thighs, we're gonna move down onto our belly and do the full swan extension. So you're gonna go face down, forehead to the ground, hands are nice and wide to the outside of your mat, and now separate your legs so you have a little pressure into your band. Point your toes, hollow your abs, and slightly hover those legs off the ground. 
Here we go. Roll the shoulders down and back. Reach the head out and extend. And you're coming all the way up into full extension and reaching that chest forward while keeping your shoulder blades wide across your back. Big breath here. And then bend the elbows. Shoot the head out and go down. And keep life in those legs now that we have the little band there to help remind us. And again, roll the shoulders down and back, reach the head out, hollow the abs up and in, come to a nice glorious extension. Take a breath and bend the elbows, hollow the abs and go back down. And again, shoulders down and back, head reaches out and away. Pressure into the band, separate those legs a bit. Deep breath and reach out and go back down. Two more, please. Shoulders down, head out, open through that chest. Deep inhale, keep the abdominals supporting you, and go back down. And one more, roll the shoulders out, and come to full extension, energy in those legs. Deep breath, and we're gonna come back down. Very nice, back into your child's pose again. Come up to seated and we're moving into watchdog. So we're going to take our band and untie it from our thighs. And we'll be going back up onto all fours and putting the band around one foot. So let's put the band around our left foot. And make sure it's nice and wide over the ball of your foot. And then you're going to take the band and wrap it down in both hands. And we'll be using our right arm extension and our left leg extension. So we're on all fours now. You're going to reach the right arm out long and then lift it off the ground and put it back down and take the weight and make sure the shoulder blades are still wide across the back. Now you're going to take the left leg out, lift it off the ground, put it back down and bring it in. Right arm out, and up, and down, and in. Left leg out, and up, and down, and in. And right arm out, and up, and down, and in. And left leg out, and up, and down. Two more sets. Right arm up, and up, and down, and in. And left leg out, and up and down and in one more set right arm out and up and down and in and left leg out and up and down and in now we're going to try both arm and leg at the same time stabilize those shoulders here we go right arm left leg reach it out lift it up put it down take the weight on both again out and lift and down. One more time, you can do it out. Control your balance, down. Very nice. All right, go back into child's pose for just a moment, and then we'll shift over to the other side. All right, let's come back up, and you're gonna transfer the band over onto your right foot now. Make sure it's wide across the ball of that right foot. And then you've got the band in each hand. And now we'll do left arm, right leg. Here we go. Left arm reaches out and up. Keep that right shoulder strong and in. Now right leg reaches out and up and down and in. And left arm out and up and down and in and right out and up and down again left arm out and up and down and in and right leg out and up and down two more times here we go left arm out and up and down and in and right leg out and up and down and in both left arm out and up and down. Last time, right leg 
out and up and down very good here we go both at the same time left arm right leg shoot it out lift it up put it down and in again out up down one more time let's go out and up and down very good and rest take that band off your foot and go back and get the weight off of those shoulders all right we are almost there moving right along we're going to go into our short plank now we're going to take the band and we're going to put it around the backs of our thighs actually and then you're gonna still have the band in your hands and anchored down, all right? Feet are gonna be just a little bit apart with the toes tucked under and you wanna have your upper body a little more forward. Tuck the toes under and you're gonna press out and shoot to one long line. Hips go down and then come back in. And press, hips go down, shoot to one long line and this helps those hamstrings fire up a little bit and bring it back down. Again, belly to the back, back to the belly. Squeeze the tush down and bring it back. Just two more. Squeeze it out and bring it back. And one more. Shoot to one long line and bring it back. Very, very good. All right, let's just finish up with a gentle stretch here, bending side to side. So. Take your band, make it nice and wide, lay it out, and then you're just gonna sit right on top of it, cross-legged, and bring your band into one hand, lift that arm up, and now give yourself a nice big side bend. And come up and bring the arm down, and now other side, lift the band up, and Give yourself a nice big side bend. And bring it up and again. Lift the arm and side bend. And up and bring it down. And lift the other arm up and give yourself a nice big side bend. And bring it back up and down. And you've made it. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you've enjoyed yourself as much as I have. And I can't wait to see you next time.